Welcome to our latest video in our series on quantitative chemistry. This video has the title Revising Titration Calculations and is suitable for GCSE students. By the end of this video lesson, you should have an improved understanding of the steps required to solve simple titration calculations and be able to use these to find the concentrations of acids and alkalis. And you should also be able to use experimental data from titrations to find other values such as volumes of acid and alkali needed for neutralization. Now in our previous video lessons on the topic acids, bases and salts, we learnt that salts can be prepared from the reactions of acids and alkalis, and when an acid reacts with an alkali in a neutralisation reaction, a salt and water is formed. So for example, hydrochloric acid reacts with sodium hydroxide to form the salt, sodium chloride and water. Now one of the problems of using this method to produce a salt, i.e. an acid reacting with an alkali, is that you need the exact volumes of each for a neutralization reaction to occur. Now this can be achieved by a titration. Now in a titration, we use accurate measuring equipment such as a burette and a pipette to dispense exact volumes of either acid or alkali. So this slide summarizes the basic method for a titration. So we use a pipette to add a known volume of alkali accurately to a conical flask. And then we add a few drops of indicator and we put our acid in the burette and we note the initial reading, the initial volume of acid that's in the burette. And then we add the acid slowly to our alkali swirling our conical flask. And we add the acid until the indicator changes color. And when the indicator changes color, we stop adding the acid and we note the final volume of acid in the burette and therefore the volume of acid that we've added. Now we repeat this to get consistent results. And once we know the volume of acid that's needed to neutralize our alkali, we can repeat this experiment without the indicator, adding the exact volume of acid alkali needed for neutralization. And then all we then need to do is evaporate off the water to form crystals of our salt. Now in our previous videos, we've seen that titrations can be used not only to add the exact volume of acid or alkali needed for neutralization, but also to calculate the concentration of solutions. And to be able to tackle titration calculations, you need to know how to find out the concentration of solutions and how to calculate the number of moles present in a specified volume of solution from the concentration in moles per decimeter cubed. So these are the two equations you need to learn. So concentration in moles per decimeter cubed is equal to moles times a thousand over the volume in centimeters cubed. And to work out the moles, that's simply moles is equal to concentration over a thousand times the volume in centimeters cubed. Now, these are the two equations you need to learn. And then if you can use these equations, you should be able to solve any titration calculation. So before we do some practice questions, let's remind ourselves of the key steps for solving titration calculations. So step one is to work out the number of moles of the substance that you have two bits of information for. So i.e. if you have the concentration and volume, this will enable you to calculate the number of moles. Now step two is to use the chemical equation to calculate the number of moles of the other substance. So for example, if you have hydrochloric acid reacting with NaOH to form NaCl and water, you can see that the acid and alkali are in a one-to-one -one ratio. And therefore, if you calculate the moles of hydrochloric acid, say to be 0.2, the moles of sodium hydroxide will also be 0.2 because it's a one-to-one -one ratio. Now, once you know the number of moles of both reactants, you are then able to work out the concentration of both. So now let's test your understanding of this with some practice questions. Here's the first practice question. Read for the question, pause the video, have a go at it, and then we'll go for the answer. So now let's go for the answer to the first practice question. So we have hydrochloric acid reacting with NaOH here to form NaCl and water. So what I'm gonna do first is to write down the concentration and volumes that I know. So I've been asked to find the concentration of HCl. So I'm gonna put a question mark down for this. I know the concentration of NaOH, 0.25 moles per decimeter cubed. 
and I know the volume of NaOH, which is 25 centimeters cubed. The volume of hydrochloric acid from the titration is 21.50 centimeters cubed. So I'm trying to find out here the missing value, which is the concentration of hydrochloric acid. So step one is to find out the moles of the substance that I have two bits of information for. So I have the concentration and volume of NaOH, so I can work out the moles of NaOH. Now moles is equal to concentration over a thousand times volume. So this is equal to 0 0.25 moles per decimeter cubed over a thousand times 25. Now this comes to be equal to 6.25 times 10 to the minus three. And that's my moles of NaOH. Now, step two now is going to be to use the equation to find the moles of hydrochloric acid. So if I have 6.25 times 10 to the minus three moles of NaOH, it's a one to one ratio according to the equation. One mole of HCl reacts with one mole of NaOH. So my moles of HCl will also be 6.25 times 10 to the minus three. So now I know the moles of HCl, 6.25 times 10 to the minus three. I have the volume of HCl, so I can work out its concentration. So concentration is equal to moles times a thousand of volume. So the moles of HCl is 6.25 times 10 to the minus three. So the concentration is equal to 6.25 times 10 to the minus three times a thousand over the volume. Now the volume is 21.50. So concentration of HCl is equal to 6.25 times 10 to the minus three over a thousand divided by 21.50. And if I put this into the calculator, I get a concentration of HCl equal to 0.29 moles per decimeter cubed. Now remember, I don't have to write moles per decimeter cubed because I can just simply put a capital M because that stands for moles per decimeter cubed. So now have a go at our second practice question. Once again, read for the question, pause the video, have a go at it, and then we'll go for the answer. Now in this second practice question, we have sulfuric acid reacting with sodium hydroxide to form the salt, sodium sulfate, and water. Now the concentration of sulfuric acid is 0 0.60 moles per decimeter cubed. So I'm gonna write this down. Now the volume of sodium hydroxide that we have is 20 centimeters cubed. We don't know the concentration of sodium hydroxide. That's what we need to find out in the question. And the volume of sulfuric acid needed to neutralize the alkali was 19.40 centimeters cubed. So I'm gonna write these values down because this will help me when I come to do the calculation. So the first step of this calculation is to work out the moles of the substance that I have two values for. So I know the concentration and the volume of sulfuric acid. So I'm gonna work out the moles of sulfuric acid so the moles of sulfuric acid here will be the concentration over a thousand times the volume. So the concentration of sulfuric acid is 0 0.60 moles per decimeter cubed. The volume is 19.40 centimeters cubed. So I do 0 0.60 divided by a thousand times 19.40. And that will come to be equal to 0 0.60. 0 0.01164 moles. So that's my moles of sulfuric acid, 0 0.01164. So I'm gonna write this under the equation. So the moles of sulfuric acid is 0 0.01164. Now the equation tells me the ratio of moles. So one mole of sulfuric acid reacts with two moles of NaOH. So to work out the moles of NaOH, I simply double the moles of sulfuric acid. So two times 0 0.01164 will give me the moles of NaOH. So two times 0 0.01164 is equal to 0 
to 8. So my moles of NUH is 0 0.02328. So the concentration of NUH is equal to moles times a thousand over volume. So I know the moles. I get that from the equation. It's 0 0.02328. I times it by a thousand and I divide it by the volume. Now the volume of NUH is 20 centimeters cubed. So if I put this into the calculator, 0 0.02328 times 1,000 over 20, I get a concentration of NOH equal to 1.16 moles per decimeter cubed. So now have a go at our next practice question. Once again, read for the question, pause the video, have a go at it, and then we'll go for the answer. So in question three, we have sulfuric acid reacting with ammonium hydroxide to form ammonium sulfate and water. So once again, I'm gonna write down the concentrations and volumes that I know from the question. So the concentration of sulfuric acid is 0.2 moles per decimeter cubed. The concentration of ammonium hydroxide is 0.5 moles per decimeter cubed. The volume of ammonium hydroxide is 25 centimeters cubed and I need to find out the volume of sulfuric acid. Now the first step is to work out the moles of the substance that I have two values for. So I have the concentration and volume of ammonium hydroxide. So I'm gonna work out the moles of ammonium hydroxide, which is gonna be equal to the concentration over a thousand times volume. So it's 0 0.5 over a thousand times 25. Now if I put this into the calculator, I get a number of moles equal to 0 0.0125. So my moles of ammonium hydroxide is 0 0.0125. So I'm gonna write this under the equation. So I have 0 0.0125 moles of ammonium hydroxide and the sulfuric acid and ammonium hydroxide are in a one to two ratio. So to work out the moles of sulfuric acid, I just divide the moles of ammonium hydroxide by two because one mole of sulfuric acid reacts with two moles of ammonium hydroxide. So the ammonium hydroxide is double the number of moles of sulfuric acid. So if I just do the moles of ammonium hydroxide divided by two, I get the moles of sulfuric acid. So that's 0 0.0125 divided by two, which is equal to 6.25 times 10 to the minus three. Now in this question, we need to find out the volume of sulfuric acid. So I can use the same equation. Concentration is equal to moles times a thousand over volume. And then all I need to do is swap concentration and volume. So volume is equal to moles times a thousand over concentration. So the volume is going to be equal to 6.25 times 10 to the minus three times a thousand over the concentration, which is 0 0.2. And if I put that into the calculator, I get a volume equal to 31.25 centimeters cubed. So here's our fourth and final practice question. Once again, read for the question, pause the video, have a go at it, and then we'll go for the answer. So in this question, we have sulfuric acid reacting with lithium hydroxide to form the salt, lithium sulfate, and water. So the concentration of sulfuric acid is 0 0.1 moles per decimeter cubed. The concentration of lithium hydroxide from the question is 0 0.2 moles per decimeter cubed. So I'm gonna write those down under the equation. The volume of sulfuric acid is what I need to find out. So I'm gonna put a question mark and the volume of lithium hydroxide from the question is 20 centimeters cubed. So the first step, once again, is to work out the moles of the substance that I have two values for. So I have the concentration and volume of lithium hydroxide, so I can work out the moles. So the moles of lithium hydroxide is equal to concentration over a thousand times volume. So that's equal to 0 0.2 over a thousand times 20. So 0 0.2 over a thousand times 20 gives me the moles of lithium hydroxide. 
And if I put that into the calculator, I get a number of moles equal to 4 times 10 to the minus 3. So I'm going to write the value of the moles of lithium hydroxide under the equation. So 4 times 10 to the minus 3 is the moles of lithium hydroxide. Now sulfuric acid is reacting with lithium hydroxide in a 1 to 2 ratio. So 1 mole of sulfuric acid reacts with 2 moles of lithium hydroxide from the equation. So therefore to work out the moles of sulfuric acid I simply divide the moles of lithium hydroxide by 2. So the moles of sulfuric acid is 2 times 10 to the minus 3. I've just divided the moles of lithium hydroxide by 2 here. So I need to find out the volume of sulfuric acid. So I'm going to use the same equation, concentrations equal to moles times a thousand of a volume. And then I'm simply going to swap concentration and volume. So volume is equal to moles times a thousand over concentration. So the moles is 2 times 10 to the minus 3. I'm going to times it by a thousand. I'm going to divide it by the concentration of sulfuric acid, which is 0 0.1. And that's going to give me a volume equal to 20 centimetres cubed. So that concludes this video lesson. So after watching this video lesson, you should now have an improved understanding of the steps required to solve simple titration calculations and be able to use these to find the concentrations of acids and alkalis. And you should also be able to use experimental data from titrations to find other values such as volumes of acid and alkali needed for neutralization. That concludes our video. Thank you for watching. This and other GCSE, AS and A-level chemistry videos can be found on our YouTube channel, Dr. O Chemistry.